Citizen Kate 2024 was a mission to observe the total solar eclipse that happened over the United States on April 8th, 2024. The eclipse passed over a large swath of the United States from Texas through the Midwest all the way up into Maine, spending almost an hour of totality over the United States. We wanted to study the outer atmosphere of the sun, the solar corona. The best time to study that is during a total solar eclipse, when the moon covers up the bright disk of the sun in the sky, allowing you to see the much dimmer solar corona. Having the total solar eclipse cross the United States for an hour meant that we now had the opportunity to observe totality, to observe the corona for an hour. The goal of Kate is kind of a two-pronged process. We have two overarching goals, one of which is to do some really groundbreaking science. And in order to do that, we're using our community scientists or citizen scientists along the path of totality. And so we are not only addressing some of the big outstanding questions in heliophysics, but we're also creating this niche little community of folks who might otherwise not have access to you know, telescopes and science at this level. And so the outreach is just as important to us as the, as the science is. Kate. 2024 and other kind of community science projects like it are really cool ways to really bring communities together. Like as, as we were forming teams, it was really neat to see how, you know, we had a team of high school students work with a, a group of retirees. And then we had a team of like college students work with families. So it was really neat to see how, you know, even the individuals within, within their own community were, were, were meeting new folks. They were meeting their neighbors. And they were really kind of seeing how everybody can be, be involved in, in, in projects like this. Each regional coordinator oversaw a handful of state coordinators, and then each state coordinator oversaw somewhere between three to five teams, so that that way there was kind of this chain of if something went wrong, you had multiple people who you could go talk to or, you know, get advice, or, you know, if there was an issue with the equipment, there were there was no one person that it all relied on. Projects like Kate are very important because they get not just scientists involved, but community involved. And science cannot happen in a black box. You do need to have community support and not even just in doing the science, but just supporting science as a whole. So the cool thing about Kate was that because there is this large celestial event happening, we were able to involve people to not just go and watch this event, but to be involved and participate in it and kind of get their hands in the science of it. This project was especially important for me because I grew up in a very rural area of Northern Colorado. And so we didn't get a whole lot of opportunities in the science world. I was able to bring science to a lot of different rural communities across the U.S. and. Coming from that background, I understand how hard it is to not be able to have those opportunities. There are a lot of things that we don't understand about this celestial object that gives us all of our heat and our light, but also is the source of solar storms, what we call space weather, where the sun is sending out clouds of high energy photons, X-rays, and particles that impact the planet, Earth's atmosphere or our human assets in space. And we need to understand how the sun works so that we can prepare ourselves for these kinds of events, but also so that we can understand this star that we live around. The solar corona, it turns out, is really hot. It's millions of degrees. Now, the surface of the sun, the photosphere, is only thousands of degrees. It's about 6,000 degrees Kelvin or 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but the corona is a hundred times hotter, millions of degrees. The camera was pretty nice, and that was the first time I heard about a camera like that. It's like the pixels are special, they're polarized. These were cameras that had polarizer already on them. So it's like, that's interesting. And then you, you know, like once you get the data, you have a little bit of like three dimensionality in that picture. So you know where the light is coming from. Part of the process of choosing the local teams was understanding where these telescopes would live after. So the National Science Foundation, which is one of the funding partners of the project, really loved the idea of having these, this equipment live in these communities. 
Cause, and so being able to bring this up, not only the opportunity to do science, but then to let that science live on was really important. A really neat thing now is that we get to hear the stories on how they're continuing to use these telescopes. So for example, one of our telescopes is living in a university where she, the professor has undergraduate students taking it out every day and counting the sunspots and tracking them in order to calculate the rotation of the sun. Kate 2024 wouldn't have been possible without the paving the way that they did in 2017 for us. Um, so the folks who worked really, really hard to basically prove that we could do this really gave us a pathway to be able to do 2024. Projects like Kate 2024 really help inform how we can make science more equitable in a lot of ways. You know, how can we work with communities to understand the questions that they're interested in answering and really the, the problems that they need to solve. And then we can really kind of bring all those voices together to, to start really answering some of these really cool, complex societal questions. We're really grateful that people were willing to participate in this, drop what they were doing and be part of this experiment, practice all of these observations during their free time. But we really hope that they got an experience that they will remember for the rest of their lives and maybe might even make a difference in a career path or how they look at science in the future.